If you care about writing clean code, you must know about GRASP. Design patterns which will help us in assigning responsibilities to classes and objects. Hi teammates, it's me Andrea again. So continue talking about the best practices as we watch into our last video about solid principles. Today we're going to talk about GRASP which is a set of nine fundamental principles in object design and responsibility assignment. These were composed by Crane Larmar, a popular author and programmer interested in software design and development process, in his 1997 book, Applying URML and Patterns. GRASP doesn't provide any specific implementation patterns, but rather best practices. So let's get started. We're going to begin with information expert. When we have a new functionality, we have asked ourselves this question. Where should I add this feature or method? Information expert pattern states that we should divide the task and validate the place that has the most knowledge about them. So that class will be the best candidate to put the functionality. In simple words, the class with the most information always has the responsibility. Another similar principle is the creator pattern. This pattern answers the question into which class we should place code, so creating a distance or another class. Or in other words, should we create a new object directly or we can use a factory? For example, if we have two classes, according to creator, one or more rules should be met so that class A could create new instances of class B. The first question is, the class A aggregates objects of type B. Second is, the class A has all information required to initialize B. The third is, the class A closely uses instances of B. And the last one, the class A records instances of class B. Factory method and abstract factory are design patterns that strongly support this approach. And the last pattern we're gonna talk about is controller. Just a friendly reminder, Subscribe to my channel because I will talk about the other principles in the next videos. So talking about controller, as developers we know the concept of controller, at least in the context of MVC architecture. The controller is the component that connects the backend with the user. It's like a remote TV controller in the real world. So the controller shouldn't do anything else in itself and has no business logic. It is rather a service that delegates work to the appropriate part of the application. So that's all for this video. Remember that I will talk about the other principles in the next videos, so be pending. Thank you for watching my video. You know this is a kind of learning love for me. So we will learn together here. Goodbye.